In this video, we're going to be teaching an AI to play Mario Kart Wii. If you've been to my channel before, you may be thinking, didn't you already do that? And yes, yes I have. Although that was quite a while ago, and I've been hard at work upgrading my AI so that now there's plenty more to see. So the way this type of AI works is by trying many different types of actions and receiving a reward for those actions. The AI then slowly learns to choose actions which provide the most reward or hopefully eventually doing the task we want it to do. The reward function for this AI is a mixture of speed and checkpoints. In order to regularly reward the AI, it's given a reward for its speed, encouraging it to drive as fast as possible. On its own, however, this wouldn't really work since driving quickly doesn't mean driving in the right direction. So to fix that, each lap contains 20 checkpoints, which the AI will receive a reward after each checkpoint it reaches, and this should encourage the AI to complete the race as fast as possible. Choosing how rewards will be given to the AI is a very complex task and has a very large impact on how the AI will learn. For example, AIs tend to learn much faster when rewarded regularly, as this provides much more feedback, although this can be difficult to do without causing unwanted behaviours. Similarly to the previous version, this AI is going to start off knowing absolutely nothing and is going to have to teach itself everything it can possibly learn. It's also going to be only given the pixels from the game itself, very similar to how a human would learn the game. One downside of the last version of this AI was that the actions it could take in the game were very restrictive. I did this because having very few simple controls drastically sped up the AI's training, which was especially important since I ended up training the AI for over 100 hours or about 4 days straight. The new version however will have 8 different actions including accelerating, wheeling, turning left and right and drifting with the theoretical Wii wheel held at 4 different angles, giving the AI much more freedom than before. So compared to the version of this AI I made almost a year ago, this one has a good number of improvements. Firstly, this AI is parallelized, meaning it doesn't just play one race at a time, but rather plays 8 games at once, drastically reducing the amount of time it has to spend training. Another big improvement was the way that AI interacts with the game. The old AI interacted with the game in a way that was really laggy, meaning sometimes its actions wouldn't be processed correctly, and sometimes the images it saw would be slightly delayed. As expected, this kind of unpredictable behaviour caused the AI to really struggle. The newer version, however, reads directly from the emulator's memory, meaning there is as little lag as possible. The last improvement to the AI was a change in the way that AI learns. The last version I was using was an algorithm from back in 2017, however I'm now using a more updated version from 2021. The changes themselves are really technical, so if you're interested in this, you can find those in a research paper called Efficient Rainbow DQN, compared to the old version, which was just called Rainbow DQN. With all that out the way, let's jump in and watch our AI begin to train. At first, our AI is just trying to figure out what works, so it's just randomly mashing buttons and hoping for the best. In the top left, however, you can see how the AI rates each of its actions, such as hard left, soft left, accelerate, etc. After about 30 minutes of training, our AI isn't acting completely randomly anymore, but still doesn't really have much idea what it's doing, and mostly just drives off road and gets sent back to the start. That said, you can kind of see it trying, and it does even manage to get around the first corner. After an hour's training, the AI starts to do the first corner a little more consistently, and even manages to reach the second corner. Despite this however, the AI clearly has a long way to go, as it's still nowhere near completing a full lap yet. After 2 hours of training, there aren't a whole lot of improvements just yet, but it does manage to get to the second corner a lot more consistently, meaning if it can manage to get to the second corner and try some new ideas, it should eventually be able to figure out some more stuff and start getting a little further. After 3 hours, the AI is getting much better and has managed to master the first few corners, however when the AI reaches the boost panel section at the end of the track, it has absolutely no idea what to do and just epically catapults itself into the wall. After 4 hours hard at work, the AI is able to complete its first lap and it even uses the boost panels for that extra speed boost, giving the AI an extra boost to its reward, which is what it's trying to optimise. After about 5 hours, the AI completes a full 3 laps of the track and starts to show some real skill. There's still quite a few small errors in driving at this point, but could probably compete with most casual human players. On the occasional corner, it even manages to get a mini turbo, so it really starts looking like a half decent player. At the end of the 7 hours training, the AI is almost always finishing the race and getting mini turbos on most corners, meaning it's just generally performing a lot better. 
Whilst this AI may not be the greatest Mario Kart player in history, I'm pretty confident it can perform better than most humans with just 7 hours of playtime. I'm especially happy with how this AI turned out, since it achieved similar performance to the video I made last year, but with just a fraction of the playtime. Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for more AI videos. I've got a new video, possibly on the game we play, coming very shortly.